um, my paper actually uh, really follows up very much on Pallavi Sharma's uh, work because um, I'm dealing with um, an artist who um, uh, is dealing very much with immigration. In uh, 1947, um, independence came um, at a great price for India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, all of which was once previously one nation. People and families faced dislocation, disruption, death, and exile. The traumas suffered are seared into the memories of those who survived, one of whom is Zarina Hashmi, whose art lays bare the constant longing for home and questioning of identity in her disrupted world. In her many series of prints, such as Home is a Foreign Place and Letters from Home, she reveals the constant sense of loss and longing experienced by um, immigrants. Zarina, a Muslim, was born in Aragar, uh, where her father was provost at Aragar University. She was eight years old at the time of partition. However, her family remained in India. She studied mathematics, hoping to be an architect, but once married, she began her peripatetic life, following her husband um, around the world, never again to live in India. India is her homeland. It's where she grew up. She has never lived um, in India and again, and she has never lived in Pakistan, although she has been called Pakistani. And her visit back to India had been fraught with bureaucratic issues. She's lived in New York and California since the early 1970s. And she's taught for many years at UC Santa Cruz and NYU, and recently held a residency at Montalvo, right here in Mountain View, Los Altos. Yet the irony um, is uh, that she was invited by the Indian government to represent India at the 2011 Venice Biennale, the first such Biennale in which India has uh, participated since uh, independence. Her art is in um, major uh, museum collections across the world at um, MoMA in New York, SF MoMA, LACMA, Chicago, um, Guggenheim, um, here she's being shown uh, with uh, Rothko. And um, today, actually today, she has um, an opening in New York, um, the gallery, uh, the Lauren um, Augustine Gallery. Zarina, um, let's get on, what's the Guggenheim? Um, uh, studied woodblock printing in Japan and lithography with Stanley Hayter um, at, at um, Atelier D. Set in Paris. And in the custom of printmaking, she creates series, some of which consist of a few prints, and others, such as we see here, um, Home is a Foreign Place, um, consists of 36 woodcuts and letter-cut letter um, press prints. <laughs> in this series, she attempts to define what home means. It forms a kind of visual lexicon with each image associated with a word printed in Urdu, that's Zarina's mother tongue, such as morning, threshold, door, country, and border. Um, these relate to different spaces, moments, and memories of home for her. It is a metaphysical tracing of her life since she left India in 1958. Each print is like a cipher to be read and viewed with an understanding that personal esoterica underlies the abstract forms. Zarina gives insights into these prints when she states, Journeys begin, roads are taken to unknown destinations. Orders are crossed. Time allotted to stay is counted. The distance is measured from the place that was home. Lying diagonally um, across the South Asian continent in this print is a wavering line that extends beyond the formal borders at the top and left side of the print. This line that appears to float above the land um, below is the ephemeral border that divides India from Pakistan. It's an artificial border that has brought heartache and hardship to millions of people who have suffered the consequences of partition. Um, written across um, the center um, in sort of southern Deccan um, is the word Hindustan. In the next um, slide, uh, dividing line, um, it's uh, essentially um, a separate um, print, uh, um, line 
which just shows the line that divides um, India from um, uh, Pakistan. It's a ragged, ragged line meandering down across the paper. We don't know where it starts nor where it ends. The harshness of the dense black strokes against the slivered texture surface um, lends a certain ominous tone of apprehension to the print. The line floats rather like a severed umbilical cord. Memory, memory mapping mortality. These are central human concerns in Hughes Zarina's art. She asked the existential questions of meaning in order to try to make sense of her own life that has become a journey that she's mapped and recorded through her art and writing. Her memories of her formative years in India provide the font from which she draws, yet such recollections bring her to a certain melancholic acceptance of mortality, which is poignantly expressed in her series, Letters from Home. Rani, Zarina's sister, wrote many letters to her, especially after significant periods of family transitions, such as after their father passed away um, and uh, when they had to sell their house. Um, actually, when her father passed away, um, Zarina did go um, back, and Rani gave Zarina a box, uh, telling her not to open it until she reached New York, which was now and then her home. In the box were let letters written over several years describing heartbreaking decisions um, that had affected the family, such as selling their family home um, in Delhi, accounts of their ailing parents, but Rani never sent them for fear of upsetting Zarina. And this is something that happened with a lot of immigrant um, people and populations of not wanting to upset those who have left. This only added to Zarina's grief and sense of um, alienation. In the series, um, uh, Letters from Home, she has printed six of Rani's letters that she had written in Urdu. And she printed them over ground plans and maps of places that she had lived. No, being no longer part of the family and culture that once was hers, her grief is one of silence, isolation, and resilience. She has said that she came to reflect on the idea of home as a foreign place and to see that we can only create homes in words and images. The series uh, Letters from Home is about saying goodbye to memories. So it's probably hard to read, but this is the uh, first letter um, that she uh, printed. And it's like a mask or a practice exercise page that you write on over and over and over again. And so um, you could, uh, nothing is very clear at all. The second one um, reads, um, Abhijan is gone, that's um, uh, their father. After his children, he only loved books. This is his last journey. One chapter of my life is also over. It was beautiful and sad. And it's printed over the... Um, uh, uh, 19th century map of Aligarh, where they moved, uh, grew up. The third letter uh, reads the floor plan of Syed Hall, where Zarina's father was provost, and it overlays uh, um, Rani's letter. Um, the fourth letter is very poignant. It says, I'm mustering all my courage to write to you today. Army is gone. It's their mother. And it's enclosed within an image of the house um, that refers to Zarina's mother's house and her final resting place. Uh, the most, I think, most sort of heartfelt um, pointed one is the seventh letter, um, in which Rani writes, Ami, Abba, and Baji are gone. Saad has gone 20 years. That was her husband, uh, um, Zarina's husband. Who knows whose turn it is next to go? You have spent your life quietly. I never had the courage to ask you about this phase of your life. And here, this letter that I've just quoted from is actually printed um, within the map of downtown Manhattan where um, Zarina has lived uh, since 1976. What is evident in looking at Zarina's art is that she expresses the universal immigrant experience of the need to identify with and belong to a society. Immigrants belong to neither their home country, in this case India, um, uh, actually is very much as Pallavi was talking about, 
Um, nor their adopted country, the United States, and all of us as immigrants uh, um, can talk to that. As Zarina has said, who knows what my art would have been like if I'd stayed in India. Looking back is of no use at this stage. The future is more important. Getting ready to encounter the blinding light and to leave the darkness of the soul behind. And this uh, is a descending darkness, um, a work that was shown in New York. Thank you.